Come on in. Good morning and welcome to Trans West Truck Trailer RV. My name is Katie O'Neill and I am so excited about today's video. Uh, please, if you've got any questions, feel free to text or email me. I can always be found at 303-562-8659. Again, 303-562-8659. And you can find us every day of the week, three times a day on Facebook Live. We do a truck, a trailer, and an RV, RV video every day of the week, five days a week. Um, if you have not been able to catch our videos in the past, or maybe you tune into this one a little bit late, you can also find us at YouTube at TTTRV, and you can find my full video collection at RVs Inside Out on YouTube as well. Okay, so J Jody, as usual, I like to start my videos from the back, so take her on back. Uh, today is really exciting. We are showing a 2022 uh, Ventana, and this is a 4369 floor plan. This is one of the most popular floor plans offered by Numar. Um, and the reason this uh, floor plan is so exciting is, is this is the new Colfax interior with the glacier glazed maple finish and it is absolutely gorgeous. Now one of the things that makes the 4369 so popular is because of its residential feel. Now the Ventana line is offered in six uh, coaches that are over 40 feet long, two of which are 40 feet. Um, and then the other four are 43 feet. And what makes those special is that when you go up to the 40 foot and above Ventana, you end up with that 8.9 liter uh, Cummins ISL engine. And that's got 1,250 foot pounds of torque. And on this 4369, you have a 15,000 uh, pound towing capacity. So that's just really, really big power. Um, and one of the things that's nice about this longer floor plan is that you get some of the major luxuries um, that are really important for people who are going to be spending a little more time on the road or just really want to be comfortable and have that residential feel. So for instance, this is a 50 by 34 inch shower. It is absolutely huge. So fantastic. Lots and lots of room. Now I did have somebody uh, call and ask. Katie, you always tell us what the specs of the shower are, but what is the actual measurement on the inside? So let's go ahead and answer that question today. Now you'll note this is unlocked. This is a simple, very simple locking me mechanism. I just unlock it here. There's a nice towel bar outside of the shower, which is really, really handy. Um, and then inside of the shower, you have so much room. You've got this really big skylight. Um, so if, you know, if you're a tall person, lots of room. You've got your overhead uh, rain shower. You've got your, your handheld on, wand on a slide so you can adjust the height. And then the, the width of the shower, including uh, the interior as opposed to the base, is just over 46 inches. So 46 and about a half. And then uh, in terms of the depth, oops, let's see if I can get that to pull in just a little bit. Uh, we're gonna have just under 31 inches, so about 30 inches, three quarters. Um, so again, we lose about three inches of space if you look at the exterior surround here. And, but that being said, you've got so much room. And one of the things that's really nice is I'm able to kind of wash my feet, shave my legs, and that's because I've got this great optional teak bench here. Uh, the weight limit on the teak bench, another question someone had for me. So it's a 220 pound weight limit on that bench. So that is the official answer from engineering per Ken. Um, now also we mentioned earlier, you've got your shower head, but we should, we should always make sure we talk about the shower miser water saving system, also known as AquaView. Uh, this system takes that 105 gallons of fresh water that you have, instead of putting it directly into your gray water tank while you're heating up your water with your Oasis continuous hot water system, what it does is it takes that hot water system and it runs it through your uh, tankless hot water heater and it puts it back into your freshwater tank instead of putting it into your gray water tank. And what's nice about that is that instead of filling up your gray water tank or using up your fresh water, if you're out there boondocking and you want to stay out for a week, you've got plenty of water on board, especially with this system because instead of using your fresh water to heat up water, you're actually just recycling it back into that tank. Um, another nice feature is the fact that you've got a nice shelf here to keep your shampoo and conditioner. I think that that's really, really nice. Uh, and then here on the left-hand side, you'll see we also have our robe hook. 
so very conveniently located. Newmar's really good about giving us all of the things that we like to have in our residential uh, style. Also, in terms of privacy, these pocket doors are just really nice. They're, they're nice and thick. Um, they're very solid. And what that does is if you want to get up early, take a shower, and you don't want to wake anybody else up, you've got plenty of, um, plenty of privacy you can have here. Now, in the 4369, the egress door is a standard feature. Of course, you can use this to load linens. Uh, you can use it to load any kind of cleaning supply, groceries even. Uh, so very nice feature there. Of course, if you've got a puppy who wants to jump out and you know, run and explore, it would be nice to be able to look somewhere where you can keep the door closed. We do that with our Costco runs. We bring all the groceries in, that way, and we have to separate the puppies because, of course, they're very excited about all the groceries. They know they're going to get treats. Um, but here also we have our MCD day and night shades, so plenty of privacy here. Um, if you'd like to keep, you know, keep the neighbors out, so if you're taking a shower, uh, you'll notice that we do have a uh, fantastic fan with a rain sensor. And then another reason that this is such a popular model is because of all of this cap, all of this uh, closet space. So I'm going to open up all three of these drawers for you, Jody, so you can kind of pan through. But over here to the right, you have all of this hanging space, some great shelf space on top and on bottom. So down below here, you've got a great place you could keep your toilet paper and supplies, plenty of nice carpeted space here for shoes. And then above and beyond that, a great place to store like sweaters, coats, uh, backpacks. And then above, you also have all of the shelving space. So if you want to get some of those shoe boxes and get organized with your label maker, you've got so much room in the 4369. Uh, that coupled with a shower is definitely one of the reasons that people choose uh, the 4369 floor plan. Um, now you also are going to have a really nice setup here where you've got a huge, uh, you know, very residential style feeling uh, mirror, nice overhead sconces, lots and lots of uh, medicine cabinet uh, storage as well. And you know, when you know the difference, you know you buy a new Mar. And the reason that we say that is for things like this where you've got just this carpet lined shelf, um, these solid wood doors, so for those of you that are looking for a higher end, more residential style feel, Newmar is able to provide that to you in this Ventana. And when you look at these coaches comparably to other builds, it's so amazing to see how nice this product is. Um, and you also see that they remember little things like you've got your 110 outlets on either side, and then you've got these really cool faucets with this beautiful backsplash with these subway tiles, a ton of room underneath for storage. And look at all of these drawers. Now, so when I open these drawers, you'll notice that not only are they full extension, when I say full extension, I mean you can get way into the back here, but as we close them, they're also you'll notice that they're all soft close as well. So lots and lots of storage. Um, very, very nice feature there. I mean, I'm going to just show you underneath here because once again, a ton of storage here. And it's not being used up with a bunch of different cords and such. Now, certainly there is a lot of wiring going on behind the, behind the scenes here, but because of our aluminum construction and the way we build our coaches, we can run wires through the walls. Um, and the reason that is, is because we're actually using, it's a, an aluminum tube that has holes in it. So you can actually run wires through it. And we hang our windows on there as well. So these windows are all attached uh, to actual construction as opposed to floating in foam. And it gives us a just much, much more solid feel. Now, uh, this unit also has the optional washer and dryer. So we've got our Splendid washer and dryer here as well. And what's nice about the 4369 is this is a unit where you can change the load of laundry without having to open the slides. So I have a 2022 Newmar Superstar. Uh, one downside is if I want to change up my laundry, I can't just crawl over the bed. Even with the slides closed, I actually have to pop the slide out. Here, you would not have to do that. Um, so, as you can see here, just really nice chair rail, really luxurious finish. Um, again, Numar is definitely the coach you choose when you know the difference. And we talked about wardrobe space. There's two more wardrobe closets up here as well. So, so much room. Um, and you'll notice that um, when we do this full extension down below, it comes out past the cabinet. How clever is that? So that you can get all the way into the back of these really deep drawers. Now, um, these two drawers on either side are the same length, but these are a little more narrow, but still a ton of drawer space. 
And then you'll notice here um, above these drawers, we have, you know, of course, our big 43 inch smart uh, TV, but we have our carefree awning deployed. Uh, the reason that I wanted to show this to you is because it's been pretty uh, cold recently in Colorado, but today is not that day. It's going to be in the high 80s today, so it's already warm. Um, I am running the generator right now, and I know you can't hear it, and that's because one of the things that's super nice about getting into the Ventana level is that your generator is in front of the coach. So if you're running your air conditioning and you're out boondocking or camping, you don't have to worry about having it here in the back. Your engine is in the back. This is a diesel pusher as opposed to a puller like my Superstar, which means the generator can be in the front under the driver's cab. So when you're sleeping, it's really nice and quiet back here. Uh, so I'll just show you these other two features here. So first of all, more wardrobe space. And I know we mentioned that this was a smart TV, but we do actually wire everything for you with an HDMI cord. So if you wanted to run a DVD player, you could do so, old VHS player, whatever you might like. We do not include um, the Blu-ray players any longer just because so many people have gotten away from that. Uh, and Jody, you don't have to show everybody, but underneath here there's another uh, 110 outlet. There's also two 110 outlets on this side of the bed stand, as well as two USB ports. And then more storage underneath for your water bottle, any kind of books. And then you'll notice that we have this really beautiful mirrored headboard. So the finish on this coach is just so nice. Um, of course, this glacier glazed maple gives it a really nice, bright feeling. Um, I have your MCD shades drawn here, but what I'd like you to notice is that you also have windows on both sides. So you've got cross ventilation available to you and you can open the window to the, uh, to the, on the other side of the bedroom. And then you can remove these so that you can clean them. So just smart design on the behalf of Numar. Um, there are also reading lights here above on either side. And new for 2022, we have an all lights off switch. So if you get into bed, you, there's a button right there that you can push and turn all the lights off in the coach so you don't actually have to get up out of bed and go and turn everything off. And you'll notice once again, all carpet lined, but there are some black uh, components here. These are little grommets that actually are going to allow you to run cords here uh, through the top. And you have 110 outlets up here in the center. So if you had like an electronic device, maybe a laptop, an iPad, you could run that. Um, now we do have a lot of people that say for, you know, breathing machines and such, they would like to have the ability to plug them in. What's really nice about this Ventana is that you can actually plug those in and keep them below heart level because you have so much room on either side of this uh, bed. So you, on the left and right hand side, you've got a ton of room there. So if you wanted to have a machine, you could do that. And then here you'll also see these are our additional uh, chairs as well as our additional leaf for our dinette. So flexible uh, storage underneath the bed as well. And again, this is that beautiful new Colfax interior. Um, and for those of you that want to know, I will go ahead and measure. I get a lot of people who ask about this RB King. This is a 72 by 80. And I would say you could probably get, in, get away with a, with a 10 inch pocket on this mattress over the eight inch. Um, it's got a really nice soft handle to it. Uh, this is not the optional radius. Um, corner sleep number. This is just the radius corner 72 by 80. So 72 by 80 sheets with a 10 inch pocket because you've got a thicker mattress here and a ton of room. So just a really, really nice feature. Um, let's make sure we've covered everything. We covered the fact that we have the Colfax. We covered the Glacier Gray's Maple. Yeah, I think we're good for this room. Um, one thing that differentiates this coach from others um, of course, is the fact that it is a bath and a half model, but you'll notice that this full wall slide makes this bedroom really, really roomy. So um, we have carpet on this slide. Now, if you would like to have an option without carpet that is available for you in the Dutch Star, um, but really, uh, as you can see, this Ventana has so much room, and this is a very, very similar um, coach to that of the Dutch Star, similar horsepower, similar torque rating, similar towing capacity. Really the biggest difference that you're gonna have here is going to be the difference between uh, the more floor, which is that all tile finish, and then the carpet. Um, and if you are in the market for a Super C, this Ventana 
is very, very reminiscent of what is the Super C and the Superstar. So this is a very similar model to uh, that front engine segment. Now you'll notice here, this is another reason the 4369 is so popular. Look at all of this storage. So you've got six adjustable shelves. You push in to release, pull them out, full extension. You can get all the way to the back, nice and easy. Just a huge, huge pantry space. Uh, of course, then to the right of that, you have your, be your beautiful Whirlpool um, residential refrigerator. And please note that this does have the uh, water filter here. So you've got door disbursement of water. Uh, you also have just like the nice meat and cheese drawer. You've got your vegetable drawers. You've got your adjustable shelves. Huge, huge storage on the left and right hand side. And then again, that water dispenser is filtered. And that's twice filtered because you also have a whole house water filter as well. Um, and then here underneath, look at the amount of storage you have here in this freezer. So you've got an ice maker, a ton of storage on top, and then even more below. Uh, this coach is wired for the Dometic freezer outside. So if you wanted to add the Dometic freezer to this RV, you would be able to do so very easily. And I just want to show you once again, such a nice RV, so much privacy available here. Look at that beautiful finish. Such a nice, nice effect by uh, Numar with this glacier glazed maple. Um, one of the things I think is nice about this RV is that they used to have a color called wicker and it was quite yellow. So I know it's hard for you guys out there in video land to kind of get a good feel for um, what something looks like in person. Um, I have to tell you this coach is absolutely stunning in person. Um, but if I could be your eyes and your ears, the one thing I would tell you is this does not have any yellow in it. So it's a really nice, clean uh, glacier. It is a great color because it's not that wicker glazed maple, which we used to carry, which was quite yellow. Um, now here in your half bath, you'll see you have just as much luxury here as you did in that rear bath. And what's so nice about this is, you know, you've got things like the vessel sink. And again, your medicine cabinet is carpet lined. You've got more storage underneath here. You've got a, two 110 outlets right here as well. You have another fantastic fan with a rain sensor up top. And then more storage here as well. And then for those of you who aren't familiar, and I don't know if you can get in here, Jody, but um, something that someone mentioned to me is, look at the wiring here. Um, so Numar does such a good job at the manufacturing of their coaches, but you know where you can really see it isn't just on uh, the the finishes and, and the things that you you know you focus on when you're shopping for you know a residential home but on the wiring itself so you can really see the attention to detail the care the professionalism that goes into the manufacturing quality of this coach and there's a lot of things that you can't see um, so for instance this floor is about three inches thick so this subfloor um, you've got this beautiful tile finish um, you know and Great, that's so nice, Katie. That looks great. What happens if we hit you know, a really hard bump? Is it gonna pop or crack? It's not. And the reason that is, is because they actually manufacture their coaches um, to have these beautiful, uh, these beautiful floors cast and, and actually cooked, if you will, on Big Bertha. So she is a table where they set all of your tile, they set your grout, and then they heat it and they, and they, and they cure it there on that table. And then uh, the star foundation, which is the understructure of this coach, is uh, pre-assembled and they take that, that, that uh, big floor off of the table and they move it over onto the star foundation. So you don't get that popping um, or that, that typical wear that you might get on a coach that has a floor um, installed in place. The other thing that it does for you is it keeps the coach a lot cooler in the, in the summer and a lot warmer in the winter. So much better insulation and it also gives you a much quieter ride down the road. Now speaking of a quiet ride, one of the reasons it's beneficial to have the diesel pusher is because not only are you getting this huge horse, or I'm sorry not horsepower, the horsepower just so you know is like 360 or 350. It's really kind of unimpressive on either the 6.7 or the 8.9 liter, um, but really the horsepower is not what matters in this co case, it's, it's the torque. Um, but again, you get this huge amount of torque with this Cummins engine. So this um, ISL gives you, you know, 1,250 foot-pounds of torque. You know, you've got a, you know, 15,000 pound towing capacity, but it's all in the back. So when you're driving, not only is it quiet 
um, when you're sleeping because the air conditioning it can run off of the generator in the front, but it's also quiet while you're driving because you're a pusher that power's coming from the back. Um, so a lot of benefits there, and we'll cover some of those when we get outside and go underneath. A decorative wall clock, this is a very nice feature. If you get an Essex, you don't get a wall clock. I don't know, I might still take an Essex if they gave me one. Uh, <laughs> so these uh, cabinets overhead are really, really fantastic. Uh, for those of you that are, again, into these measurements, um, awesome, tune into all my videos. I try really hard to make sure I let people know how deep things are. They're just about six and a half inches deep. Um, so not as deep as the ones in the front. Um, but I do try to measure this stuff because when you're out there shopping in the world and you can't touch the unit that you're looking at and you're just ordering it off of a, a piece of paper, it's so nice to have something that tells you all of the specs. Now, one of the things we mentioned earlier is that we have this extendable uh, dinette here where you could put this extra leaf in here so you could very comfortably fit four people around this table. Regardless of size, like if you had somebody who needed to be in a high chair, you've got a thing you can latch a high chair into, um, or a booster seat if you will. If you've got somebody who's maybe um, a little healthier than the rest of us, you've got plenty of room, you're not trying to slide in and out of a booth. And then the other thing I like to mention about these dinette style tables, booths are highly popular in our segment. Um, but at home, we don't have booths, and the reason we don't have booths is because if somebody wants to get up and get a glass of water, get something out of the refrigerator, it's nice to be at a table, and you can be at a really you know, traditional residential style table here. Um, but look at all this room you have underneath. This is a great place to keep coffee mugs and glassware, and then above that you'll see that we have again two 110 outlets as well as USB ports on either side of the dinette, so for anybody who's working from the road, you know, there's more storage here underneath. Great place to keep things like placemats, um, anything that's a little bit taller. And then on this side, again, more storage once again. So just a lot of really, really nice space throughout this coach. And these are all adjustable shelves. Um, so I think that that's pretty fantastic. I'm going to go ahead and put these in as if I'm going to drive. Now, a lot of people ask us, oh my gosh, aren't those going to fall over when you're driving? No. They're not. And if they do, <laughs> it's not just the chairs that are tipping, man, you're in big trouble. Uh, no, but they're, they're weighted appropriately because Numar has been doing this for a long time. And so now that I've opened up uh, this slide here, Jody had closed these earlier because it was hot, but we put down our carefree awnings. So again, we've got a full extension awning out here on this side as well. So one in the bedroom, and then this one covers both the front and rear cockpit on the driver's side. So super, super nice feature there. Um, so just a great, great dining area for those of you who are looking for a more residential feel. Now take a look at this galley. Wow, this is the reason everyone loves the 4369. You've got your extra counter space, a great place for some walk-in chips, some salsa. And then one of the things that's really nice about Numar is they're very consistent. So you'll always find that you have your cutting board inset into your, uh, your cover. But the other thing that I really like about having these coaches, especially when they're all electric with no propane on board, is this induction cooktop. So when you're traveling, one of the things that you want to do is have less dishes, right? So more, um, more use inside and outside. Well, what's great about this is you can take your really nice all clad copper core induction pans and you can take this outside and you can cook your fish and your bacon and all your smelly stuff outside in the coach instead of having to cook it inside of the coach, which I just love. And you can use those same pans and you don't have to worry about getting them scorched because you're using them on an open flame. You can take them uh, with you and have them in really nice condition because you're using the same cooktop, both interior and exterior. Uh, so here you'll see we have, again, just nice carpet line storage, a great place for spices up here. I just love that. Uh, all these shelves, again, are adjustable. And then more room here. Uh, you'll notice that you know we give you these uh, full extension trays so you can get all the way in the back for those of us that are vertically challenged. But this is again all carpet lined once again. So just so, so nice. Um, your, induction, your induction cooktop is both convection and, um, so it's a microwave and a convection oven. What's really nice about your convection cooktop, I'm sorry, microwave, is that you can use this uh, to cook, you know, if you wanted to make a turkey for Thanksgiving dinner, um, anything along those lines. You have 
all of this space where you could, you know, really prepare a full, you know, Thanksgiving meal out there on the road. Uh, but I have a lot of clients that ask me if you can actually fit a full bird in there. And the answer is yes. So um, the room in this is just huge. And so I was actually um, out shopping for a microwave and 1.7 cubic feet on the interior changes everything. I mean, if you wanted to use this, uh, some people worry about things drying out. You can get a clay pot that you soak in water first and you can cook in this um, because it's big enough to fit even that clay pot. Or like I said, you could make a turkey in there. Um, so we do have some other optional features. Uh, we have the universal remote here, so you can get rid of all of these remotes and go down to one if you'd like. Um, you also have all of your, your sound bars. Uh, so there's sound bars throughout the coach, uh, which is really, really nice. You have a remote here for your, uh, your two Nova awnings. So this does have the optional awning package. You've got the remote here for your sleep number bed. Um, and then again, this is the Colfax exterior. So here's all of your extra paints. Um, but love this color combination. And then another optional feature on this coach is the microwave. So I love that. Um, oh, the, that's not a microwave, Jody. You're saying that this is a dishwasher. Uh, we just had someone sign into Facebook. No, I'm just kidding. Jody caught that I call this a microwave. It's not a microwave. I know that, okay? I know that, Jody. Stop laughing at me, man. God, I'm so insecure. Um, okay, so we didn't talk about this yet. This is another microwave. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> this is a dual basin stainless steel undermount sink. And look at how awesome this faucet is. I mean, shh, spray and pour. But I know it's just so cool. I mean, it's nicer than the one that I have at home. Again, that fantastic, uh, you know, tile uh, glass backsplash with these glass subway tiles is so classy looking. Um, and another thing I really appreciate about this is the amount of space here. So if I put my covers in space and I'm having a big party and I want to do a lot of prep work, I mean, I have so much counter space here. It is insane. So just to give you an idea, um, by the way, there is a plug right here. So if you want to put your coffee pot back here, you could. And there's also a plug over here on the left. But this is really um, 42 inches um, deep right there just under 33 inches deep right here. So this is more room um, in terms of counter depth than you'll find in a residential home, which is just so incredible. And uh, this is just over seven feet long. So seven feet, one inches, 85 inches long, just incredible amount of space. And then here, when I get done cooking and I'm ready to get on the road, oh, sorry, you gotta do the hip, the hip bump. I don't know why, you, if you can't do the hip bump, it's not gonna close, just so you know. No, I'm just kidding. Um, not really. Uh, so full extension drawer once again, but look at this. So if you want to have a little more open room now, for those of you who are going, Oh my God, there's only one bed. No, this has got the recliner option. So there's a sec, there's a trifold sofa here. I'll show you how that works. Um, but no, honestly, I, I know there's a lot of grandparents out there. Like they're like, they're my precious babies. We like our grandchildren more than we liked our own children when they were growing up. Um, but no, if you have grandbabies, there's so much room here. You could have so many inflatable mattresses in this coach. And then what's nice about it is your friends don't want to sleep on an inflatable mattress, just your grandkids do. So you don't have to worry about your friends trying to tag along on your camping trip. You can tell them to get their own RV. Tell them to call me at 303-562-865. No, I'm just kidding. No, I'm not. Actually, they should call me. Um, oh boy. What do I do wrong on this one, Jody? <laughs> okay, so Andrew Lyons, if you're watching, I know, you should always open the bed before you do your video, Katie. Yes, sir. Okay. I'm stumped. Oh, wait. There's a thing. Why is there a thing? Uh-oh. Yeah. I don't get this one, you guys. It's really tight. Okay. I'm going to give up on the bed right now. Tune in next time for how this bed works. I know it's the trifold. It folds forward right here. There's seat belts back here. Joe, do you want to show them the seat belts? And then, um, so my friend Bob Tapper took delivery of his fantastic special order Ventana about 
a week and a half, two weeks ago. And Bob said when I did his video, he was really impressed because I didn't break his couch. Because apparently I have couch issues every time I do a video. So tune in next time for couch bloopers. Uh, but no, I'm sure this is easy. I'm just not gonna make you guys watch while I figure it out. Um, on that note, take a look at the size of this TV. So another Samsung television, smart TV with a really nice sound bar up above. And then a ton of storage here. Again, pre-wired with your HDMI cord. Uh, if, if you would like to put your Blu-ray player in there. And of course, carpet lined the whole way through. Also like the soft touch ceiling here. These great LED puck lights. So for low voltage. And then here, take a look at this. So as you can imagine, with this wonderful central ducting, there's a lot of little things that you'd have to look at if you didn't have this really nicely decorative ceiling. But it's so easy to access. And you just push up and snap it in place. And it's so easy to close. And you can kind of hear those kind of pop. But how cool is that? You can do your own uh, filter services. Oh, and I don't have a light on. Which one? Let's see. Oh, the reading lights. There we go. Now all of our lights are on as well. And then this one I mentioned earlier is a little deeper than the one above the dinette. So let's go ahead and measure how deep this one is. This, of course, is going to be good for board games. Uh, 17 and a half inches deep to the lip right here. And of course, again, carpet lined, as you would expect. Solid wood count, uh, cabinetry. Love these maple counter or maple cabinets. And then these recliners are just dreamy. And what's nice about these recliners is they're really, really simple. Maybe. <laughs> uh oh. They're really simple. I swear they're really simple. <laughs> Jody, why won't it open? <laughs> I have to be smarter than the recliner. Hey, you guys, I might not be the smartest one out here, but I'm really sweet. There we go. That's what's supposed to happen. So there's that. Very simple to operate. This one needs to go into the shop. Um, I'm sure I did something wrong, but whatever. Um, as you'll note, we talked about this earlier. You've got this big television. But one of the things that's so nice about this is, again, we've got another one of those carefree awnings in place, keeping the sun out of this coach. So super, super nice there. And then the next thing I want to show you is I want to show you the walking space in this RV. So Jody, if you don't mind, go stand in the hallway next to the bathroom. And I'm going to bring these slides in. So as you can see here, this is that full wall slide coming the whole way in. Such a cool feature. Now HWH does power our hydraulic leveling system. In the Moore floor where it's all tile, they also power the slide. So this is an electric slide. In the Dutch Star, it would be a hydraulic slide. And so you could get a 4369 uh, Dutch Star and it would have a hydraulic leveling system that would bring your slide in and up. So here we go. And these just lock into place. So as you can see, still plenty of walking room. And I'm going to bring this other door side slide in and we'll show you how this looks. So one of the nice features of this RV is that while you're driving down the road, you can still watch TV, you can still watch a movie, you can still make a, make a burrito, you can make me a sandwich, you've got access to your restroom, you've got access to your kitchen, um, you've got access to the entire coach. So um, this is a really nice feature. So these recliners, one of the benefits of them is that you have a little more room here and that's another benefit of this dinette area. So for those of you that are shopping for an RV that have a large dog or two or 
A lot of times I meet a lot of you that are out there arguing with three large dogs, which I just think is a little bit nuts. I have French Bulldogs, they're small, and I think going camping with the three of them is just nuts. But if you've got big animals that are traveling with you, this is a lot of space uh, to lay down and be comfortable. So this is a great, great solution. And as I mentioned earlier, you still have all this room to cook and to, um, you know, to prepare food in. And look at, I mean, that's a lot of walking space. So there are other manufacturers out there that do this regularly, but in this floor plan, I think it's one of the nicer luxuries that you have here. Now, while we're walking forward, Jody, catch this. So here you can see all of the doors are open. Uh, Avin did that for us when we weren't looking. So all of our bay doors are open. We've got the three air conditioning units. So we've got three 15,000 BTU uh, air conditioning units and uh, heat pumps on top of the coach. And you can also see um, that's behind us. And then there's another camera here. So that 360 OmniView camera system is a new feature available um, on the Ventana. And I think it's super worth the wait. Um, really nice to have. Now here you'll see uh, we've got our beautiful uh, chrome convex mirrors. Standard, you will have a side illumination camera. So if you put your signal on, uh, your camera will turn to the left or turn to the right. Probably have to have it on. Oh, there it goes. I guess I do have it on because there's my all glass dash. That's another nice new feature. Um, so we love the way that looks. Now something we haven't talked about yet that really makes a big difference is down here uh, underneath vehicle configuration, we can set our steering effort through comfort steer. So what this means is comfort steer basically wants to be straight all the time. So this steering wheel is going to have a, a predilection to go straight down the road. So if you've got big crosswinds that you're fighting, um, what'll end up happening is instead of you feeling like you have to fight the steering wheel, the RV is doing that for you and you can turn that up and down here so you can adjust your steering effort so that you have more help going down the road when you're in those big crosswinds. Now, another nice feature, of course, we've got our left and right power mirrors with our heated mirror. Um, we've got really nice air conditioning, a very much of a cockpit feel, great cup holders. Uh, but here we have our equalizer leveling system. So I have this coach leveled right now. And what's nice about the equalizer leveling system is um, it will actually dump your rear tag for you so that you don't have your uh, tush up in the end. It'll let that air out of those rear bags so that when you level, you don't have as much work to do in the front. And that's, that's just an automatic thing that happens with, with HWH. Now, here's another fantastic reason to consider a Numar. Uh, you have a Numar customer brand specialist available at Ventana Service at Numar.corp or at 866-540-9595. Now, this, uh, this really nice woman, Erica Miller, uh, does answer the phone quite frequently in all honesty, but if she doesn't, that phone forwards to another specialist after hours. So you can always get a hold of somebody if you're on the road and you're having issues. Um, you also have the Freightliner uh, service right here, which is also really, really fantastic. As you can imagine, after you start shopping for RVs and you start looking at um, you know, which ones are out there, there's so many Freightliners on the road, so there's so many service centers as well. Um, another nice reason to consider um, a Ventana with a Freightliner chassis is because you've got a high, low, and medium setting on your engine brake right here, so which is really, really, really nice. So I rock high all the time. I would likely use the, me the medium setting if I had a Ventana. And then your uh, drive, neutral, and reverse are all right here, as well as your overdrive. So you've got a, maybe a more fuel efficient setting as well or more aggressive driving setting as well. So you can do all of that toggling right here. And then here on the left-hand side, you've got your windshield wiper uh, settings, your turn signals, your washers. Um, so really, really great dash. Um, like I said, a lot of nice features available for you on your all glass dash. You can see everything very clear. You've got your speed limit right there, just in case you're, you, know, you don't wanna get a speeding ticket in your RV. Dude, if you get a speeding ticket in your RV, oof. Um, all right, so great place to keep your tape measure, uh, whatever you might have, phone wallet, stuff like that. Um, you've got all your power shades. Uh, we've got the Navigo navigation system. So um, 
We used to use Man Rand McNally. I actually have some clients that just switched out their Rand McNally for the Nav and Go because they liked it so much better and they had an older unit that had the Rand McNally. Um, and then above us, you'll see this coach has the option of optional forward-facing television. A lot of people go, oh my God, why do you need a forward-facing TV? Well, you might want a forward-facing TV because you don't want to have your TV up on the televator while you're driving. So maybe the, the game's on. We don't recommend that the driver of the Ventana is watching the football game while they're driving. So we get that question a lot. No, we don't think you should do that. That's a bad idea. Um, but we do recommend that you have the game on, especially if the Denver Broncos are playing or maybe the Avs are winning, which is happening a lot right now. Um, another nice feature here. I love this step cover. So this is great. So you can see, oh wow, lots of you know, nice support for my little feetsies while we're driving. But then on top of it, I love, see, I can work this recliner. It has a button. I love that you can have your recliner. I don't have it all the way up. Do you want to sort of see all the way up? Here's all the way up. Oh my gosh. Look at that. So nice. And then also there's armrests on both of these on either side. And I have this really cool desk. So if I need to do some work on the road, I can do that. And it just stows right here. Another nice feature that you have here is that you're going to have outlets with USB ports back here. You've got access to all of your lights here as well. You've got a wireless charging dock as well. And then you've got your step lever control. So we love that. And then Jody, I think we should cover what is up above your head. So on the left here, you've got the brains of the machine, right? So this is where you do a lot of your stuff. So you've got your um, razor antenna. You've got, you know, what's going on with our generator. Oh, can you hear that? So I have the generator on right now. I'm going to go ahead and hit the stop button so you can hear the difference. But how nice is that, that that's not underneath your bedroom. So that's a very cool feature of having a diesel pusher with a, with a generator in the front. Um, okay. So you're, you've got your, uh, Oasis system here. Now it says burner on AC one or AC two or off. What that means is you can run your hydronic heat off of your diesel tank. So you've got a 100 gallon fuel tank here. Uh, you could also be plugged into 50 amp and be run at AC1 for low voltage or AC2 for higher. Um, so I can heat my coach in the winter with AC2 um, without having to run my diesel tanks. But if I want to get a little bit warmer and maybe I'm boondocking, I can also do my burner and turn my burner on. Um, one of my burners on it doesn't matter if I'm plugged into 50 amps so that's pretty cool um, the other things that we have here we have our uh, tanks here so you can see your tank levels uh, just touch of a button you can also see your HVAC system right and then you can also see your power here as well uh, now there is a place a little here that you see it says solar prep you could absolutely have solar installed on this coach um, this coach does not have solar on it. It is solar prepped. We can give you more solar for less money um, than Numar does. Numar does four 100 watt panels. We would recommend that you do three 170 or even four 170 watt panels, getting you closer to you know either 500 or even 700 um, watts of solar. So, oh, Gerard awning uh, control. So here you got your optional um, awning package, and this is two. Uh, two awnings and so what's nice about that is if you're in a campsite where maybe you don't have uh, the room to deploy the awnings on both sides you can just deploy one or the other so that's super important um let's see we talked about oh i don't think i mentioned so the gray water tank on this coach is 75 gallons great place for baseball hats um the black water tank is 55 gallons so plenty of uh, tank storage and uh, I think I did mention you have a 105 gallon freshwater tank, three penguin heat pumps. We talked about the shower door. So just so you guys know, this takes like a lot of effort in the morning. I always make my notes day of because I literally have three pages of notes to talk about here. Um, now you'll notice here, oh darn it. Okay. I swear it is off the ground. I love looking at this. Um, so we have the, uh, coach leveled right now with, our hydraulic leveling jacks. And then here you have a great place to keep dog food and a great place to keep uh, water dishes and leashes. So I love that. Oh, that is something I definitely wanted to cover. So 
I don't know if you could if you can get into this one, Jody, over here, but it says your carrying capacity. So we've got like 10,000 pounds of carrying capacity on this coach, which is insane. So I do have those specs lined out for you because the 4369 has a 10,300 pound net carrying capacity and a GBWR of 46,000 and a GCWR of 61,000 uh, pounds. So really, really huge carrying capacity. And then another thing that I really like about this coach is I love that you have the ability to leave your keys behind and you've got a doorbell. So we love that you have a doorbell there as well. Uh, the other thing that we have is these, uh, all these baggage doors are on a, a power lock. So you can either, uh, you can actually, you can show that if you want. Uh, up here on the left, you've got your power door lock release up high on the left here, right here, next to your house disconnect. So you can do it that way. But when you put this coach into drive and you start driving, all these doors will lock automatically, which is a super, super nice feature um, as well. Look at how short I am. That's pretty funny. Um, okay, so dual fueling stations, we talked about that. So there's one. As you can see, there's that jack deployed down there. It's pretty cool looking, I think. Um, and then this is where we have uh, the pre-wire installed for the Dometic exterior uh, freezer. If you wanted to put that on a slide tray, you could. If you just want to charge your or inflate your paddle boards, you could also do that right there. You've got another two um, 110 outlets with a GFI ground as well. Huge, huge storage space. Um, for those of you that are thinking, oh, I wonder if I want that Dometic or how big kind of a cooler could I fit in here if I didn't get it. Um, to the rubber plastic on the interior right at 27 inches and from the inside here you're right at 45 but I do think that something to be considered of is you're about uh, 27 and a half tall from where the rubber is to this little plate here that's covering some electronics and then from the interior of the rubber to the interior rubber you're just under 44 inches I call it 43 and a half inches here so that's, that's good information to have just so that if you want to buy a, a large cooler, you know what you need there. Um, one thing that we did this, uh, this year is we've improved our doors so that when we go to, oh, yeah, I lose my cell phone most of the time during these videos in the best places. Um, okay, so if you do want to uh, close these doors though, they're a lot easier to close. They have these really great seals on them. The seals in the past were so great that they were really hard to close. So we've improved that. Jody, I don't know if you can show this right here, but we're going to show the star foundation here. And then we're also going to show those LED lights. So there's an LED light just illuminating in here automatically, which is so nice. And then I've got this thousand pound rated slide tray that comes out and it comes out uh, up to 60% so that you can actually load it even with the slides deployed, which is so nice. Um, and they're really easy. They're called Easy Glide. They just go in and out. I think that they're better than the power ones because they go out in and out faster. Um, another really nice television out here. Another great Bose sound bar. You can run off of the dash radio. You can run off of the TV. You can, wire, you can run wirelessly off of your phone as well. There's also USB chargers and 110 outlet there on the left. So a great place to keep your phone. And of course, we are having the benefit of these awnings right now, and it is so nice here in the shade. Um, and these are those big awnings, and then you can see that carefree awning we talked about that was inside above the couch that I couldn't deploy. Yeah, that's me. Hi, Andrew. By the way, if you don't know Andrew Lyons, he's the GM of our dealership. He's also uh, in uh, partnership with his son, Avin. Uh, this is the team um, that has given us all of these great videos. The, this is the team that came up with the idea that, you know, during COVID when you didn't want to, you know, go into another room with somebody else and you were, you know, in your 80s, it would really help to be able to see something without being in the same place. But now that it's passed, we've realized these videos are so fantastic. So huge shout out to, you know, to Jody for being here with us day in and day out, every day of the week, rain, snow, or shine. Uh, to Avin for running everything behind the scenes, to Cherish who takes all of the fantastic photos of our RVs on the interior. We've got, you know, some of these RVs have like 60 pictures of them on the inside. And it's just 
so much work uh, to make sure that you guys have all the information you need. Uh, but like I said, to Andrew Lyons, huge shout out for this video program. Uh, so here again, we can see once again that star foundation. And you'll notice how that, that really strong tubular steel construction is actually taking the weight of the slide and where the heaviest portion of the coach is and pushing it towards the center. Um, and so that's really what's giving you that really nice uh, distribution where you don't have uh, that tile popping and you've got such a nice ride down the road. Now another nice thing that's giving you a fantastic ride down the road is something called V-Ride. And what V-Ride does is if we have a video uh, Grant did this with Joe a few years back. So if you'd like me to send you a link, just give me a you know quick shout, and I'll email it to you. But what V-Ride does is it takes your okay. This is da dangerous. There we go. Look at that. So it takes your um, your suspension system and it pushes it to the outside instead of being on the inside. So you have a more outward uh, level of suspension on exterior wheels instead of being towards the middle. So where we're pushing the weight towards the middle, we're pushing our suspension towards the exterior so that you don't have as much tip when you're going down the road. So that coupled with uh, comfort drive really changes the way that this coach drives. Uh, now we have another power slide here as well. Again, this is, a, this is a shorty, but look how far it comes out. It comes so far out so that you really have access to everything that you need in this coach. And you'll notice that this is not underneath a slide. So great loading potential. You can see the back of our Oasis system there as well. But once again, if you just take a look at some of the way that, that these are all wired and how tidy that is, um, it's just so impressive uh, to see. And then of course, uh, we have a water tank back here, but we wouldn't miss an opportunity to give you a nice pegboard to keep some tools as well. And again, how easy is it to close these doors? And so for those of you who've never had a Numar before, there's a lot of people <laughs> that are really jealous of how easily these close. Now, I don't know if you know what uh, this looks like here and why this is significant, but this is a tag axle. So the tag axle tags along. So you've got these beautiful Alcoa rims. Um, so when you have an aluminum rim, it's going to absorb sound. It's also going to absorb heat. It's going to be much quieter. Uh, but when you have one that's in, it's, it just spins in one direction forward. When you have an Audi, so you've got an any belly button and an Audi belly button, right? When you have the Audi, that means that that wheel could actually pivot. This, this wheel can pivot up to 12 degrees. Um, now, when you get into your higher end coaches like the Numar uh, King Air, you can go up to 17 degrees. But regardless, what this does is it gives you, the pin releases off of the rotor and allows that wheel to pivot. So you have a really, really nice tight turning radius even though this coach is longer. Um, and that's just another huge, huge benefit that you get for getting anything 40 feet and longer. So you get, uh, instead of that 6.7 liter, 800 foot pounds of torque, you get a 8.9 liter with 1,250 foot pounds of torque. And you also get uh, anything over 40 feet will have a tag axle in Numar. And that's just a really, really nice feature to have if you wanna have a comfortable drive going down the road. Now here you'll see we have our chassis disconnect. So super simple. This coach is upgraded to the all electric package. So it has eight house batteries. These are your two chassis batteries. Down here, this is where we burn off all of that particulate from the diesel exhaust. And then this is our Oasis juice. If you tell me you watch this video, I will give you a free gallon of Oasis juice at your time of purchase. Why is that important? Uh, no juice, no heat. Your tankless hot water system is running off of that Oasis system and it cannot be below the fill line. So very important feature there. Uh, now, so one of the nicer features here is this 400 horsepower uh, chassis has again a 20,000 pound uh, hitch, but the brake sink is another, another feature of Freightliner. So this just comes standard. It just takes an adapter to get Blue Ox working. Um, and then you of course have your seven pin connector. But what's really nice about brake sink is brake sync is running an auxiliary line uh, into another tank that is that's full of uh, compressed air. So if you lose uh, brake power while you're driving, your coach will stop automatically, but your trailer vehicle will lose braking power. In this case, because you have brake sync, it has an extra charged canister that will keep you in control of your t of your tow vehicle as well. So really, really nice feature. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pull this down. Okay, so I don't know if you guys noticed, but I ducked when I did that. I am, um, uh-oh, this one's kind of sticky. There we go. Uh, these things will pop open and hit you in the head. So 
Uh, if you don't learn from me now, you'll learn later. Um, but here's your radiator. And again, super easy access back here. Um, and like I said, always make sure if you're going to open this rear cover, lean down first because they can get some momentum going. Uh, so here's one of your cameras for your overhead camera system. Here's your rear view camera. Again, really nice LED setup here. Beautiful graphics on the back. A few more tanks behind this wall here. And then this does have an auto gen uh, start and it has an engine block heat. That's your plug for right there. Uh, this one has 13 gallon def tank. If you were to have uh, the smaller Ventana, you'd have a 10 gallon def tank. And if you were to have a Superstar, you'd have a six gallon def tank. And it's dual fill. You can fill it on both sides, which is nice and quick. Um, and then here you'll see between these two wheels or two axles, you have a little compartment here it's a great place to keep your sewer hose and your glove. And then over here in this bay, you'll notice we have a whole house water filter, a power hose reel. You've got a really nice connection set up. Beautiful, beautiful uh, bay here uh, for, you know, for getting, you know, plugged into your campsite, along with an outdoor hot and cold water shower. Now, why is that important? Well, come on. I mean, if we're rinsing off the kids, you've got a much higher likelihood of getting them all cleaned off if they're not under cold water. So just a nice feature there. Um, you have a 50 foot power cord here on a power cord reel. Uh, the button is right here to reel that in. And uh, there's a little grommet both for the hose in this bay and then for your power cord right here. We also have the optional surge protector. And then standard, 2022, we've moved to a dual, dual loop uh, Oasis Chinook system. And what that means is you just have better control over the heat in your coach. So by having uh, two loops of the Oasis or of, of the uh, hydraulic fluid, or I'm sorry, hydraulic, hydronic fluid, uh, you actually can have better zone control. Um, now the way that that works is there's going to be a glycol mix that goes in a tube underneath the coach and there's air that's pushed up and over that tube. And that's what's heating your coach. Um, so when you're using this hydronic system, it's much quieter than the heat pumps would be and they'll also work at a much lower temperature than your heat pumps will. So this is a great four season coach. Um, and then there's the back side of that middle bay. Uh, there is an optional slide tray available here. And then there's your porcelain tile. There's just a few extra pieces in case you need them. Uh, now if you look up here, again, this is all new. This is the Colfax graphics, but look at that beautiful uh, you know, carefree awning deployed, just giving us so much shade protection on the inside of this coach. And then there are all eight of your house batteries. So 800 amp hours of battery storage here. Um, one of the things I'll tell you is that coming into uh, RV manufacturing right now, you know, you've already got an eight kilowatt, um, you know, Onan quiet diesel generator. Uh, you've already got the ability to put solar on top of your coach. Uh, these batteries are really a storage mechanism for that solar power that's coming in or that generator power that you're, that you're uh, creating. Um, all of that being said, a lot of people are like, oh man, I have to get lithium. You can. Um, I'll tell you, the lithium ion battery pack will run you about $20,000 on a 2023 Dutch Star. That is a lot. Um, I just replaced eight AGM batteries for 2400 bucks, including labor, removal, installation, everything. So that's like a tenth of the cost. So before you jump to the conclusion of needing lithium, do some research. There's certainly some benefits to it, um, but there's also uh, the benefit, whether it outweighs the performance of, you know, with 800 amp hours of storage is highly questionable. Um, when I got my uh, Numar Renegade, I was like, oh man, I need to get I need to get my batteries replaced with lithium and everyone's like, eh, time out. When, when it's time to replace them, you could replace them with lithium if you wanted to. Um, but to be honest with you, the 300 amp hours I had in the Verona were more than enough. And now that I've got my Superstar with 800 amp hours, I've found that I really don't need any more storage that I already have. Hi, Grant. Hey, just so you know, that was Grant driving by. If you don't see his videos, he's live on Fridays and he is fantastic. Um, but anyway, so 800 amp hours is a lot of battery storage. If you think that you need lithium, my parts department would love to hear from you. 
um, I would encourage you to, before you engage that pocketbook, consider going to Belize. And I'm just kidding. <laughs> Bobby Jackson, that was a plug at you. So our finance lady here, uh, Bobby, is going to go to Belize for like the eighth time this year. Uh, here's the other half of your uh, fueling station. Um, and then on that note, I want you guys to know interest rates are going up, but you know, they're really very, very, very low comparably to where they've been in the industry historically. So if something like this available 2022 is attractive to you, give me a call. Let me lock in a great interest rate for financing with you. We do all of our financing in-house. We're happy to work with an outside organization, but our team is so fantastic here. We do so much big business. Um, again, look at, the, look at this compartment. How tidy is that? Just so incredibly um, professional, so well done. Uh, you know, I really have to tell you, um, so there's a camera right there. So I'm gonna go jump in point. That's your camera for your 360 cam. And then here's your side view camera right here for when you're changing lanes. And then, oh my gosh, okay, I lied about the doors. That one's hard, Jody says. Can I do it? Do you think I can do it? No, okay, I give up. Okay, I give up, camera guy, I give up. Um, okay, so there's another camera up there. The ultimate driving experience, comfort drive. I completely agree with it. Again, your generator's here underneath. Um, you have ABS brakes. I mean, how cool is that? I don't know, there's just so many fantastic uh, features on this car, on this coach. Um, did I talk about everything? Power mirrors with defrost, we got that. Multi-level insulated floors, we talked about that. Oh, 110 volt heat pads for your holding tanks. Uh, there's an optional water, hot water line to the generator area. And yeah, I think we got almost everything. V-Ride, anti-lock braking system. Yeah, I think we got all of it, you guys, except for the couch. Anyhow, um, thanks for tuning in to another live video. I promise I'll be able to use the recliner and the couch next time. At least I know a lot about the machinery. <laughs> Uh, thanks so much for tuning in. Please let me know how we can help you in the future. Again, my name is Katie O'Neill. You can find me at 303-562-8659. Again, 303-562-8659. Uh, love to get you on the road and camping. Let us know how we can help. Talk to you soon.